YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What is the deal? It is, of course, your boy Valandis here with another video. And it's been like a week since I dropped a video. And that's because this week has just been, right? It's been super busy. I've been nonstop just like moving around, working. I haven't even had time to do YouTube videos. It actually took me, I, I was filming this video all week, trying to go to these locations and have people with me so I can film and just do all this stuff for this video. And it's just been busy. I, like, I really, I really haven't had the time. And I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to be more consistent on this. And I have been. And and I feel like that week that I took off when I was out in Florida was already too much and then I just took another week off really so like so I just feel kind of down about it and I just want to get back to it so I'm happy to be doing this video again and sharing my thoughts and how I do stuff and just like and just overall sharing my perspective yeah my perspective on things within photography and photography related stuff or just whatever you know what I'm saying so I'm happy to be back anyway let's just get straight into it this video is going to be about finding dope locations I know a lot of people who watch my videos or follow me or whatever just people in photography in general they live in places where they don't think they have dope places to shoot they live in small cities or their big city just isn't dope or you know what I'm saying just all of the above but honestly you don't need a big city you don't really need like a location doesn't have to be considered dope and well known for it to be cool in a nice location and i say dope in quotations because if it's not like a really known well-known spot and a lot of people don't go there then it probably wouldn't be considered dope and just all this other shit but most of the time my location for photos are just my backyard like backyard street down the street around the corner like i don't really go far for some of these locations and i guess me living in detroit i've been blessed in a way in a sense it's not really good that some of these buildings are abandoned and dilapidated but i've been blessed to be put here and to be able to use these resources to my advantage for the photos that I take and what I like to see and you know what I'm saying just all of that stuff so if you don't live around abandoned shit or shit that's cool there are things you can do to take dope photos and just find a dope location just within your own city so let's get straight into it first the very first thing that I do when I'm looking for photo locations is I'm just driving around even when I'm just driving to the store or driving downtown or just wherever I'm going if I'm driving to a friend's house one of my fiance's uh, brothers or sisters houses because they live in different cities if I'm just driving like I'm always keeping an eye out on some shit that will look dope because you never know what you can find on the other side of the city or just doing other things that's not photography related I find myself finding the dopest locations when I'm not even looking for them or going out to look for them like this abandoned building that I went to the other day I was only over there because I had a shoot for somebody else and I drove past and I was like oh shit this should look crazy so like I kept it in my head to I need to go back over there when the time comes so I can take photos in there or over there just in that area because I like the way it look just keeping an eye out and just keeping your eyes peeled for shit that looks dope to you another tip to finding dope locations is to actually go out and look for them clearly when you're going out to look for them go to places you've never been i know detroit like the back of my hand i can drive wherever go wherever with my damn eyes closed but like drive to cities that you've never been before 30 minutes away 40 minutes away and just drive and look for shit now listen if you're doing this you need to be careful. I don't care if you're from the hood and you're going to the suburbs. There are certain places where sometimes you're not always going to be welcome regardless of what you're doing or how respectful you're being. Seeing people you've never seen before just like look around and drive around looking crazy, like looking for stuff is gonna maybe rub some people the wrong way. So, you know what I'm saying? You need to be careful when you're doing this. Anyway, drive to those places 40 minutes, 30 minutes away and just look around and see what you can find. And every time you go out, it doesn't always have to be a successful trip. I've went out like location scouting plenty of times and haven't found shit or shit that I like. It's all a part of the process. It's all about finding new things and stumbling upon shit that other people haven't found and just putting your own creative twist on things and just, you know what I'm saying? Just really getting out there and finding new shit, honestly. So location scouting, go places you've never been and do what you gotta do to one, stay safe and two, find some dope locations. Another tip to finding dope locations is to honestly just google shit if you go on google and you type in your city and you type in abandoned you'll probably find some abandoned places or just type in cool shit to do around your city and it'll bring you to some of these places if some of these places that are things to do have good photo opportunities and good photo locations you can also google coffee shops google it doesn't always have to be an outdoor spot google coffee shops google a restaurant just so you can find like cool looking restaurants or just whatever you're looking for whatever you're in the mood to shoot just google it and honestly 
Hopefully you'll be able to find a lot of dope shit without even like trying to type in a certain type of spot or a spot that everybody's been to. Also, you can do this. I don't do this, but you can. You can like the people you follow in your city, just go to their pages and see where they've shot and ask them if they're willing to give you the location. Most of the time they are because a lot of the people that I've deal with, that I've dealt with, they're not like super like no you need to find it yourself or no I'm not giving up my spot especially if it's just a super just like everybody goes their type of spot so reach out to people and see if they'll give you locations and um, directions to spots around your city if you don't already know where they are so when you go to these spots that a hundred people have been to and a hundred people have shot instead of taking the same shot that everybody who goes to that spot takes try to do something different instead of shooting straight down try to take it from an angle or try to take it from like a lower angle or higher angle just do something different if everybody who goes to this spot takes a photo at just a spot bring a friend and get a portrait there and then make it your own because no one can replicate a portrait so when you do that then you're kind of making the spot your own and it's not the same same when you know somebody has just taken a photo of the spot itself so just keep that in mind you can go to your local gas stations your local liquor stores if you're afraid to just go in there and shoot because honestly that's what I do I just walk in I start shooting go up to the person tell them you're doing something for school or video or just social media and you're just trying to take a picture some pictures of your friends in there or just a picture of the store in general and then usually they're always like what for or what is this for because I don't know a lot of people are skeptical when you're just trying to take photos especially when they don't see like the value or like how cool their shit looks if they think it's just like like this is just a liquor store why the fuck do you want to take photos in here it must be for something deeper but like just tell them like i take pictures um here's my instagram page here's my website whatever you got and i just want to take pictures in here because i think it looks dope so and most of the time they're like yeah who cares just you know what i'm saying as long as you stay out the way of other people and you're respectful then most of the time they're going to let you do it so also another thing you can do is just look up city guys i'm pretty sure uh people put together city guys for almost every single city just look it up google your city then put city guide after it so Detroit city guide would be mine and then you'll find a ton of shit to do or a ton of places to go so honestly I'm not trying to make this video too long because most of these things within this video that I'm saying is kind of self-explanatory and straightforward if you're a photographer you probably already know how to do these things because you've been looking for spots you know what I'm saying we run out of spots so then we got to find new spots so you've probably already done all this stuff to begin with but I'm also talking to the people who don't believe they have spots in their cities or things to shoot in their cities so I mean because like I said honestly most of the time I'm just shooting with what I have which is backyards front streets liquor stores gas stations just whatever I'm around I don't really go out and super look for spots if I am finding spots then I'm finding them because I ran into them maybe I was at a party downtown or maybe I was you know what I'm saying I already mentioned these things so I'm not gonna say it again so like I said locations don't always have to be this super dope thing I take pictures against fences on top of cars inside of cars inside of cars is my favorite place to take photos I'm gonna do a video on like a car photo shoot one day but yeah other than that I don't really think I have anything else to talk about. I wrote all my notes down and yeah, that's really it. Anyway, um, I was going to mention this in a video earlier, but I didn't make it because I was busy all week. But earlier this week, I went to my friend's Rick. If you from Detroit, you know who Rick is. If you're not from Detroit, Rick is. Uh, he's a designer. He worked with Puma, New Balance just a fucking list i can't even list all the people he's worked with Foot Locker, just a ton of shit anyway rick's like the uncle of detroit within like the creative shit and all this other shit he had this little puma event launch party that i went to and it was cool it was dope i got a pair of shoes i got this hoodie honestly got a bag with my name on it it was pretty dope uh let me show y'all the shoes real quick they came in this big ass box now, this box is as big as me but it's dope because it has like all the cities like royal oak and Detroit, Berkeley, um, it has Livonia on here, Redford, Southfield, and it's Puma Hoops, and then inside, you know what I'm saying, you got two pairs of shoes, and then inside the box is super dope too. I'm gonna take these out real quick before I show y'all. Um, inside the box is super dope, and you know what I'm saying, it's just really, really well thought out. And yeah, you know what I'm saying, Rick, he really be in his duffel, bro. And then there's there's these that I'm probably gonna wear. Probably wear these today. These are these are fire. I've been, you know what I'm saying? They're super dope. Fuck with them. Heavy. You know what I'm saying? Rick, he did his thing on these. A little basketball up there. I fuck with these. And then um, we got this pair right here. You know what I'm saying? These are super dope as well. Yeah, but it was just super dope it was just super dope vibe he invited all the people in detroit that you know what i'm saying represents detroit and the culture and 
what we stand for as a city. So it was dope to be there and be a part of that. I appreciate you, Rick, for always, you know, uh, involving me in everything that you do and trying to put money in my pocket. And ever since I met Rick, he's been like a huge, just like supporter. And he's been like a good role model for me and just everything that I do. And he's always seen the potential in me and I appreciate that. But let me show y'all the bag if I can find it real quick. This, this is the bag. You know what I'm saying? Got my young name on it, you feel me? And then I have the hoodie. The hoodie was in here. I was supposed to customize it at the party. There was like this little area where you could customize the hoodie and all that, but I had to leave. Also got a shirt that I was supposed to customize. I didn't customize it, but I like the hoodie though. Just all black, it, I don't know, it's dope. And then, um, you know, just got some little, some goodies in here. Rick has a, Rick runs a, um, Rick runs a business with his wife, Yolanda. They make like, like beauty products and all that this is a candle uh smells delicious can't wait to burn that but yeah he runs he runs that with his wife and you know what i'm saying they, they they going crazy i'm not gonna lie to you i just wanted to mention that within this video too because just to just to update y'all on some of the things that i've been doing outside of these videos so um yeah that was fun I'm trying to think what else have i done since I've been gone. Oh, I went to StockX for this thing called 313 Day. I don't know, 313 Day is just something that a lot of people around here look forward to and the city really takes it to heart. And you know what I'm saying? We we do our thing. But anyway, I went to StockX for 313 Day and I put together a playlist for like StockX and Title and did a little interview with Jerry and it was cool. We, you know what I'm saying? Talked about 313 Day, artists in Detroit and just just everything. So it was cool. Hopefully that comes out pretty soon. This Today's Monday, so it's gonna come out probably Wednesday on March 13th, 313 Day. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I definitely see the people who always comment, who always comment first and just support every single time, no matter what. You guys always been here and you know what I'm saying? It just really means a lot to me. But I'm gonna end this video because I don't wanna go over like 15 minutes. I really didn't wanna go over 10 minutes, but I feel like it's gonna go over 10 minutes. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up thumbs up if you learned anything from it you know what i'm saying leave a thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't already ring the bell so you get notified every time i drop a video it's truly appreciated and you know what i'm saying let's go do some shit man yeah let's get it all right actually actually one last thing i forgot to mention this and this is the most important thing that i forgot to mention grace started her nursing job today I am beyond words of excitement and just proudness of that girl, of that woman. She is going crazy and she is making life her bitch. So Grace, go crazy. You are amazing at everything you do and I know you're gonna kill it and be the best at this job than any other nurse ever. So you know what I'm saying? Keep doing you Grace, love you. All right, now let's go do some shit, feel me?